Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Adam Castro. Welcome to Sanctify Studios, where I like to create and examine content with a sanctifying and biblical view. I've been focusing heavily on reacting to Christian music lately because I really want to highlight those artists who are being intentional about creating sanctifying and biblical content. So if that's something that you're interested in, then you can do me a huge favor. You can leave this video a thumbs up, you can hit the subscribe button, and you can hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when new videos arrive. I've got a new song reaction for you today, and we are going to be looking at a band called Chaotic Resemblance. Chaotic Resemblance is actually a band that's been on the radar for a while. I wanted to do a reaction to their album that had come out, but as you guys know, I really try to stay true to uh, making these reactions fresh, and I went on a run one day, and I was like, I want to listen to this album, and I listened to every song except for this one because I knew they had a music video for it, um, and I really love what I heard. I definitely love the energy. I love that it's almost like a mix of Disciple and I Am Empire, kind of an older 80s kind of feel mixed in with a more modern metal. So I love that there's a, a really cool blend there. And from what I heard, super, super solid lyrics, super solid message um, in every song. And so I'm really excited to hear this song, Ferris Jesus, that they've got a music video for. And I remember last year it was creating a lot of buzz. And so I wasn't able to check it out then, we're going to check it out now. Here is Ferris Jesus by Chaotic Resemblance. And you've got a Bible that's definitely highlighted up, definitely marked up, which is good. It was a dark night. I fell asleep. Hair goals. I should have waited for him. My flesh was weak. I like that he's really into this. But even when I sleep, my heart is awake. I am undone. Mm. Love sick, yeah. Love sick, yeah. They ask, what does he have more than others? What makes this different? I like how it's building up here. What does he have more than others? Great question to ask at the beginning of the song. Worship right here, I love it. Nice. Nice hard hits. Nice energy. Not to take away from this song at all, but uh, everybody's hair game is on point. Just gotta say that. <laughs> Love this. Really great wall of guitar kind of sound. Love that it's worship too. It's very worshipful. Bringing it back to that question. Brought it back down, brought that beautiful acoustic guitar back in. Still worshiping, I love that. Building up. Taking communion. Nice, great moment right there. Great energy. Love everybody worshiping in the background. <laughs> Zebra drum set blanket. <laughs> Woo, there we go.
This is a lot more like the other songs that I heard on the album. Woo! Love that. Oh, it's the Kevin Young dance. I love it. <laughs> nice. So good. So good. Man, I really like it. I really, really like it. Um, and like I said, all the other songs that I heard love the energy. Like I said, it was kind of a mix of that Disciple and I Am Empire kind of bringing back an older style of vocals, an older style of, um, of music, and me melding it with a more modern sound. And you guys just did a great job. I love that this song is super worshipful. Let's look at the lyrics real quick because you guys have them here on your uh, YouTube video. Check these guys out. Chaotic Resemblance. So uh, the first verse is saying, it was a dark, cold night. I fell asleep. I should have waited for him. My flesh was weak. But even when I sleep, my heart is awake. I'm undone. Love sick. Yeah, love sick. Yeah. I love that the beginning of this song really was this soft and dark atmosphere um, with a beautiful acoustic guitar starting off the song as, as it was continuing to build. Um, you could see the singer was really pouring out his emotion in the song. It paints the picture of being in a dark place, very similar to um, the, the video I just did, Dark Cold Night by Wolves at the Gate. Uh, very similar to that, just setting the scene for a, um, a feeling of, of uh, being in a bad place, being in a dark place. I think the line lovesick is really telling for this first verse. You're in a place where you are needing love, wanting love, and searching for love. And so where are you going to search for that love? And then as things started to pick up, uh, we go into that pre-chorus. They ask, what does he have more than others? What makes this different than all the other religions? What does he have more than others? Those are those are some really important questions, you know? Like, honestly, uh, as somebody who's raised in the church, those aren't really questions that uh, a churchgoer asks, and because they're not really questions that you're faced with if you're just in a Christian bubble. Um, you're not really putting God up against anything else. You're not really putting God up against other religions. You just kind of accept that it's truth. Um, but that is a very realistic question for someone who is searching for truth and someone who is searching for love is what makes Jesus better than all the other religions and what makes Jesus better than maybe this other thing that I'm chasing or this other thing that I want to put my faith in? What makes Jesus better than family? What makes Jesus better than money? What makes Jesus better than um, friendship or success and business and fame? And, you know, what makes Jesus better than all these things? Really, really important question. And I love that they're positioning this to, uh, to where it ends up going, where he says, you know, I say, chief among 10,000, he's altogether lovely. And we go into the chorus, Yahweh, this is my beloved, Yahweh, 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 this is my friend. Um, it's It goes to a place of worship, like what makes him worthy? What makes him different? What makes him um, better than anything else to strive for and search for? What makes him a better love than anything else? And it's like, he's God. He is God. He is above all else. He is all powerful. He's almighty. And not only that, but as the song is saying, he's my beloved and he's my friend. It's not just this like king that's up on a pedestal. It's also someone who came down to earth and has become close with us and lives inside us, lives within us and wants to have a relationship with us. And I love that that's where this chorus goes. And you could even see that in the video. They're worshiping God. Um, I love that it brought it to the field. And normally when you see a metal band in a field, there's no one else there. There's no one to be found. But I love that there was this like group worship going on. Everybody was worshiping God together, singing out Yahweh. And, um, and it was beautiful. It was really, really cool. Going into that uh, post-chorus, the fairest Jesus, you're the chiefest. I, I for you and you for me. Um, we were, it reminds me of uh, 
Toby Mac, uh, I was made to love you, right? I was made just for you. Um, I think it's that similar kind of idea here where it's like, Ferris Jesus, you know, you came down for me and you made me for you. And so I love that that might be the the message here for, for the whole song. And that's why it just goes to worship. Like we were made to worship God. We were made to worship our Ferris Jesus. And it goes through all the other lyrics again. Um, and at the end it says, Lord of all creation, the lion bold, the lamb slain, the body and the blood that paid for me. I, I love these lyrics. I love it. And again, the energy was there. I love that it just kept building and building and building. Um, as far as performance, you guys had the hair, you guys had the power stance, you guys had such great production with this, uh, with this video. I love that you guys were able to get, there's probably a lot of fans and community around you to be a part of the video. I think that's super cool. Um, and honestly, again, just making this a very worshipful song that blends an older style of rock and metal with a more modern style of rock and metal. I love that you guys are doing that. Um, yeah, awesome, awesome job, you guys. And I love too that like, we really do have to think about that question. Like what, what can we say about what makes Jesus better than anything else here on earth? And I think people really try to argue that point with practical things like, oh, well, Christian marriages are happier. And then, you know, sometimes it comes out that it's, it's really not the case, you know, well, uh, Christians lead better lives, you know, like, well, that's not necessarily what the Bible talks about. The Bible says that we might go into suffering, especially we, uh, suffering through persecution on Christ's behalf, um, you know, or, hey, uh, if you're a Christian, you won't sin anymore and you won't deal with these problems anymore. And, you know, that's not even true. So, like, I think churches and Christians have tried to um, argue these positions as to why they should choose Jesus on practical reasons. But the Bible's pretty clear that you worship Jesus and you worship God. He is better than anything else and the one that you should be striving for, not because of any like practical reason, but because he is God, because he is Lord. And so that's what I think the message of the song is about. You know, you ask me what makes him better than anything else, what makes him better than all the other religions, like who he is, who he is. That's what makes him better, who he is. And, you know, you read the Bible and you find out more and more about who he is, and you will find that he is worthy of pursuing for the love that you are searching for. He is worthy of praising, as we see in the song, uh, and giving all of your praise, giving your whole life to him, putting his lordship over your life. Um, and we say this all the time that, like, you don't choose to make Christ Lord um, he's already Lord. You're just choosing to accept it and you're choosing to acknowledge that and you start to live your life that way. And that is this process of sanctification where we grow closer and closer to God and we realize more and more that he's not just Lord over our Sunday mornings. Uh, he's not just Lord over when we're around other Christians. He's Lord over our whole lives. Um, and it's because of the love that he's given us that we're able to love him in that way. So, Great job with this song, you guys. I love it. If you enjoyed this video, guys, go support Chaotic Resemblance. Go give them a follow on their social media accounts. Go check out their YouTube channel. Check out their album. The album that they released with uh, Ferris Jesus on it is called Nazarites. And so check that out. Go give them some love and some support. If you want to support what I'm doing here, then you can do me a huge favor. You can leave this video a thumbs up. You can hit the subscribe button and you can hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when new videos arrive. And I've got one more announcement for my band, Classic Disaster. We are going to be releasing a new single very, very soon. Um, it's going to be a Christmas single. It's going to be a Christmas cover single. It's not going to be an original. It's going to be heavy. It's going to be um, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be fun. And it releases December 2nd, but there's going to be some news coming out on Black Friday. So you're going to want to make sure that you go over to our Instagram page at Classic Disaster. You go to our YouTube page, Classic Disaster. Um, follow us and uh, follow us on Spotify, Classic Disaster. We've got a live stream up there right now, but this is going to be our very first like studio recorded here at, at uh, Sanctify Studio, studio recorded single. It's gonna be awesome. I'm really excited about it. Uh, and you're gonna get a chance to be able to get this single early through an EP purchase uh, on Bandcamp. So 
Uh, all those details and stuff will be announced on Black Friday um, or late Thursday night. So I'm super excited for all that to be rolled out. And um, yeah, guys, more on that later. But until then, go ahead and head over to the comment section and let me know what you thought about the Chaotic Resemblance song. Let me know what song you think that Classic Disaster will be covering for Christmas. And go ahead and let us know what Christian bands you think I should uh, react to in the future. All right. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.